Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you all of the ways that you can add content to ebooks that you make using Book Creator, which you can find at bookcreator.com. And in this video, we're using the web version of Book Creator, which you'll find at app.bookcreator.com. I'm signed into my account. There's my profile. Let's create a new book. And we can pick from one of these six book shapes. Now you can customize the layout within each of these books, but this is the shape for the book itself. Let's start with a simple portrait. And now in the upper right corner, click the plus symbol, and we're going to start by adding some text. And so I've just added my text right on the top, and let's click and drag and position it where we like it. Now, in the top right corner, click on the I, and you can change the size of that text, the positioning of the text, you can even change the style and even the type of font that you want to use. So I'm happy with that. And now let's go back to adding content onto this first page, our cover page. I'm going to select Import. And here we'll see the option to do a Google image search and pull images from there. You have Google Maps. But I'm going to use Files here. I'm going to go into this folder that I have on my desktop and let's put in a picture and now I'm going to reposition and resize that image on the cover of my book. Let's go ahead now and add a new page and take a look at some other ways to add content. Let's go on to the next page and again, top right, let's select Import, and let's put in a map, let's put in a map of Bow Island, Alberta, which is where I took the picture we saw on the previous page. And again, I can change the size of that. And I'm going to add some text above it. And that map is an interactive map when I publish the book. So people will be able to click on it and click through it. And again, if I want to change my font, click on the I and change your font settings. Now on this page over here, let's take a look at some other ways that we can import we'll see there's an option to use Google Drive. And I can connect my Google Drive account and pull anything from my Google Drive, including PDFs, pictures, or videos that I have in there. And speaking of videos, we also have the option to embed videos from external services like YouTube. So I have this video I found on YouTube I'll just click the share button and I'll get the embed code. Let's copy that embed code and paste it in here. Confirm it and add it to the book. And again, click and drag to put it where you like. Let's add another page over here on the right hand side and look at another way to add content. So you can use your webcam, just like me right here, and you can even go in and take a picture or record a video 
and insert that into the page. We can draw on the page. This is my self-portrait that I'm drawing. Click Done. And now my image is in the page, and I can click and drag and reposition that as needed. Let's add some more content. We've already looked at adding text. Let's go ahead and record. Now this will, rec will record just my audio. On this page of the book, we're looking at a very poor example of drawing a self-portrait. We'll use that recording, and now that's included on the page itself. So we've added all types of media. We also have the option to add shapes. So let's say I wanted to put in a thought bubble or a speech bubble. Let's use that thought bubble, and within that thought bubble, we'll write some text. And finally, over here on this right-hand side, top corner, we can change the page color. So we can change the color of all our pages. We can use customized colors by clicking and dragging and choosing a different color for our page altogether and then apply it. If you go further down, you'll see options for categories, including things like comics, paper, A border around the book, patterns, and finally, textures. Now, when I'm happy with the book, I'll quickly review it. I can hit the play button in the upper right hand corner, and I can now see how the book will unfold. If I have text on the book or in the book, I can select read to me. Wow. And this, this will play it back drawing. for me. On this page of the book, we're looking at a very Wow. This is a bad drawing. And finally, if I'm happy with this book, Let's go ahead and share it. We can publish it online, download it as an ebook, or even print it out. Now, obviously, when you print it, you lose a lot of the functions of the multimedia. Let's publish that online. And now my book has been published, and there's a link to my book. So those are all the ways that you can add content and customize your ebooks by using Book Creator's web app. As always, for more tutorials like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.